All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So, look, I gotta be honest with you. I never thought in a million years I would be making a video on this topic, let alone it even being a discussion outside of the realm of the New York Jets. But uh, there's a lot of buzz surrounding Russell Wilson right now. Um, now, I will say that it is the season of uh, stories, of rumors, of, you know, made up stories and all leaks and everything like that. Uh, but The Athletic dropped a pretty in-depth report today, uh, so just really giving a lot of insight, right? Like a lot of interesting tidbits of the Russell Wilson Seattle Seahawks marriage. This is one of those things from the outside where everything looks fine. Russell Wilson's playing great, great football. They're winning a bunch of games. He doesn't seem like the type of person to, he doesn't seem like a diva from like just from an outsider's fan's perspective. Um, but internally, there's definitely some issues. Some of the things that were mentioned within this report, Russell Wilson is quote unquote fed up with the Seattle Seahawks, his team specifically, Russell Wilson's team, has brought up the discussion of potentially being traded. Also, name dropping, uh, name dropping teams. The four teams that were mentioned: the New Orleans Saints, the Miami Dolphins, the Las Vegas Raiders, and then the New York Jets. Okay, so those four teams specifically got brought up. Very, very interesting. Now, uh, it's looking like the source of all of these, or maybe not all, but the main source, the main culprit within the fracture between Russell Wilson and, and Seattle, the Seahawks franchise, is the offensive line. It's the inability to fix the offensive line. Now, as we all know, Russell Wilson has been sacked a lot. Um, he seems to always be running around, extending plays. A lot of, um, you know, you search up whatever. Russell Wilson highlights a lot of that stuff is improv. A lot of that stuff is broken plays, extend, extending the play. It's not so much the play calls itself. They're working that, you know, the offensive line is dominating. He definitely does not have a top five, top 10, top 15 offensive line in the league. And there was even a more specific story that happened during the season that was highlighted by this by this athletic report, uh, where it was middle, middle of the season. Russell Wilson met with coaches uh, to discuss fixing the offensive line, right? What was the plan of attack for the Seahawks to really get this thing figured out? Russell Wilson, A, did not agree with it, and B, stormed out of the meeting in frustration. So we heard some speculation a little bit, just a little bit last year, right? Last offseason, Russell Wilson might not finish, uh, finish his career in Seattle. He could want to go to a big market. Uh, we, we've heard just a couple of like little, little small rumors. And of course, nobody really put that much validity to them or, or gave that, gave those rumors that much validity last season. But this year, after this report, it, it's looking like, okay, maybe, maybe this is cause for concern. Maybe we should look at it and look into it. Um, I, I don't want to just slam the panic button and just say, Russell Wilson is getting traded. Stop everything we need to figure out where Russell Wilson's going. I don't want to go that far as of right now. It's not like a Deshaun Watson situation where he's not picking up the phone. He's telling the Seattle Seahawks, I'm not coming. Trade me right now. Here are my teams. I, 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 I refuse to play for whoever it is. Like, I just, I don't want to do it. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if anything does this offseason or the following offseason. But I will say this. If the New York Jets, if they want to make a power move, and identify Russell Wilson as their guy. They like Russell Wilson at 32 years old more than Deshaun Watson. They like him more than, obviously, Sam Darnold. They like him more than all of the available quarterback prospects in this upcoming draft. Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Mac Jones. They like Russell Wilson for the long term, not only just the short term, but for the long term. They can do this. Just like Deshaun Watson, they have the draft capital. If you pose a trade package to Seattle saying, hey, your guy, Russell Wilson, he wants out. He's disgruntled. He's maybe not, you know, maybe he's not as public as Deshaun Watson, but we all know here this marriage is not going to be lasting for the next 10 seasons. I mean, it, I mean, quarterbacks do play uh, late into their careers. We saw it with Drew Brees. We're seeing it with, uh, you know, Tom Brady just won a Super Bowl and whatnot. So quarterbacks can play forever, I feel like. But you can pose that to Seattle and say, hey, your guy is not he's not going to be here for the next you know couple of seasons. Do you want to do you want to get out of this now? And if you do, do you want the second overall pick and a, some more first round picks in this 
in this class and next class we also have a team full filled with young players if they want a you know Fudakasi, uh you know whoever it may be if they want to do that they have the power they also have the cap space to afford russell wilson all right so just like the whole deshaun watson situation now watson watson is younger obviously right 24 25 years old russell wilson's up there in age 32 so there is a big age difference but when you're looking at their levels of play russell wilson is easily easily a top three quarterback in this league and has been making it work winning games winning playoff games winning a super bowl his entire career this guy looks like he's definitely going to be a future hall of famer so again right now i don't want to put that much stock into russell wilson being traded tomorrow or something like that but out of the four teams mentioned raiders saints dolphins jets the Jets are the ones that can afford Russell Wilson. The Jets are the ones that can give up the most draft capital. The Jets are the one that can give up the second overall pick. No other team can do that. It's 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 impossible. The Raiders cannot offer the second overall pick. What better way to jumpstart a rebuild or to, to fill that quarterback position than with the second overall pick when you have a myriad of different really, really good quarterback prospects coming up for Seattle? Okay, because you can say to Seattle, hey, you guys like Zach Wilson, Justin Fields? What about Trey Lance? You like him? Here's the second overall pick and a couple more firsts. Maybe we throw in a couple middle round picks too, if the Jets want to go in that route. Of course, we have to bring up, they're coming off of a two-win season. Absolutely horrific. Um, it's not really like a... It is what it is. I mean, you can never pass up a pat. You just just turn the other way if you're looking at a, potentially acquiring a, t a top three quarterback in the league and at age 32, it's like, who does that? Okay, so bottom line is this: the Jets, we we have a major issue on offense. Figuring out the quarterback position is one of those issues. Okay, is it going to be Sam Darnold? Is it going to be drafting a Zach Wilson, a Justin Fields, whoever it may be? Is it going to be trading a huge haul of picks for Deshaun Watson? And now we can entertain the idea of possibly trading for Russell Wilson. So it'll be it'll be crazy to see what happens if anything does happen. Again, it's the season of yeah, buzz, rumors, all this kind of stuff where we typically hear a lot of this like random like stuff out of left field that we would never expect to have or hear um so this time of year right this is like the perfect time to do it so i'll leave it there let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section would you like russell wilson do you think this is realistic do you even think it's a talking point um i do think it's interesting how this report highlighted specific reasons why wilson is frustrated it's the o-line it's the team's lack of urgency to fix the offensive line it's him being 32 years old and never really having a great offensive line once wilson started to flourish as a passer because early in his career you know how do you not win games great incredible defense marshawn uh marshawn lynch was playing fantastic fantastic football just handing the football off throwing slants doug baldwin these guys you guys know what happened so i'll leave it there let me know your thoughts and as always thanks so much for watching thanks so much for sticking with the channel i appreciate it and go jets